Royal Air Force Hornchurch or RAF Hornchurch is a former Royal Air Force sector station in the parish of Hornchurch, Essex, now the London Borough of Havering in Greater London, located to the southeast of Romford. The airfield was known as Sutton's Farm during the First World War, when it occupied 90 acres, 360,000 square meters, of the farm of the same name. It was used for the protection of London, being 14 miles, 22.5 kilometers, east-northeast of Charing Cross. Although the airfield closed shortly after the end of the war, the land was requisitioned in 1923 because of the expansion of the Royal Air Force and it reopened as a much larger fighter station in 1928. The airfield was ideally to cover both London and the Thames Corridor from German air attacks. It was a key Air Force installation between both wars and into the jet age, closing in 1962. In 1915 the London Air Defence Area, LADA, was established and airfields were built around London to defend the capital from the growing threat from German airships. Sutton's Farm, along with its neighbour Hainault Farm, just east of what became the Second World War airfield of Fairlop, 8 miles, 12.9 kilometres, to the northeast, were selected due to their location covering the eastern approaches to London. They were named Landing Grounds Nose. 2 and 3 respectively and joined the existing airfields of Northweald, Rochford, and Joyce Green. Sutton's Farm Airfield became operational on October 3, 1915, initially with two BE-2C aircraft. As the number of aircraft increased at the airfields around London, it was decided to organize them into 39, Home Defense, Squadron, which was formed in April 1916, under the command of Major, later Brigadier General, Thomas Higgins. As the enemy threat moved from airships to aircraft, better aircraft were introduced to counter them. The BE-12, SOP with one and a half Strotter, SOP with PUP, FE-2, Bristol Fighter, SC-5A and SOP with Camel all operated from Sutton's farm at some stage, some with more success than others. 39 Squadron moved to North Weald in September 1917 and was replaced by 78 Squadron, under the command of Major Cuthbert Roden, a 20-year-old veteran of the air war in France and subsequent winner of the Military Cross. 2-3 78 Squadron was later joined by 189 Night Fighter Training Squadron with SOP with Pups and Camels. The first recorded interception of an enemy airship over Britain was made by Lieutenant, later Marshal of the Royal Air Force, John Slesser on the very day he arrived at Sutton's Farm, October 13, 1915. The attack had to be aborted as the airship disappeared into cloud and he had to break off the engagement. Four, the first victory in Britain was not recorded until nearly a year later, on September 2, 1916 and was attributed to a pilot from Sutton's farm, Lt. William Lee Robinson. Robinson shot down a Scotland's SL-11, one of a 16-strong raiding force over London, using Newbrook and Pomeroy mixed incendiary ammunition, which had been adapted for this task. 5. For this action Leif Robinson was awarded the Victoria Cross and became a national hero. Two other Sutton's farm pilots from the First World War, Lt. Frederick Sowery and Lt. Wollstone Tempest, were awarded the DSO for their roles in the destruction of Zeppelins. 6. Tempest's actions were particularly notable, even though his fuel pump was broken and he was having to pump fuel manually whilst flying the aircraft with his other hand. He still managed to engage and destroy an enemy airship and then find his way home in thick fog. These pilots, together with many others, are commemorated by street names in South Hornchurch. 7. Interwar Years Soon after the war ended it was decided that Sutton's farm was surplus to requirements and the airfield was decommissioned, although it was retained on list C, stations temporarily retained for service purposes until February 27, 1920. 8. The land was returned, most of the buildings demolished and farming resumed once more. Following the decision in the early 1920s to expand the Royal Air Force, 
Former First World War airfields were inspected to ascertain their suitability for use. Although small, Sutton's farm was ideally located to be able to defend the northeastern approaches to London. After protracted negotiations, the original land was repurchased, together with some further land to the south of the original airfield. The new airfield took four years to build and opened, as Raff Sutton's farm, in April 1928. Two months later the name was changed to Raff Hornchurch and the first unit to take up residency was No. 111 Squadron, led by squadron leader Keith Park, who also became the first station commander. Second World War During the Second World War the station was the sector airfield of Rough Fighter Command's 11 Group, covering London and the southeast of England during the Battle of Britain in 1940. By this time, its command centre was in Romford, and a satellite station, an advanced attack outpost, RAF Rochford, was unpopular with the Hornchurch crews sent there from time to time because of the canvas accommodation. Richard Hillary, author of The Last Enemy, was shot down after taking off from here on September 3, 1940. Following the war, Hornchurch was home to Flying Training Command's Aircrew Selection Center for 10 years before it moved to RAF Biggin Hill. A balloon unit was retained until closure for parachute training of military personnel, when on the May 14, 1961, CSM Albert e. Small of 10 Para Regiment, T.A., was a balloon cage dispatcher won the George Medal for gallantry due to a deflating balloon at 800 feet. The RAF station at Hornchurch closed in July 1962. Following a period of gravel extraction and infilling with rubbish in the 1970s, the airfield was extensively landscaped to create Hornchurch Country Park, with work commencing in 1980. Most of the former administrative and technical areas, including the two Type A and one Type C hangars, were leveled in the 1960s and the area is now a housing estate. The names of the streets of the estate commemorate the airfield and its pilots, such as Bouchier Walk, Curtin Close, Tempest Way, Robinson Close, Tuck Road, Bowder Way and Malin Square. The former officers' mess is now a medical center in Astra Close. The officers' mess, Astra House, officers' quarters, Astra Court East, West and North, and Woe Quarters, 89 to 99, odd numbers, Wood Lane are included in the RAF Hornchurch Conservation Area. A local school, the R.J. Mitchell School, was named after the man who designed the Spitfire, and a large monument to this effect, with wreaths placed on Remembrance Day, is within the school railings. Another local school, Sutton's School, was renamed Sanders Draper School in 1973, after an American pilot, Flying Officer Ray Imond, Smudge, Sanders Draper, flying with the Royal Air Force at the time, had an engine failure on takeoff and stayed at his controls to ensure his aircraft didn't crash on the building, which was full of children at the time. A number of pillboxes, command bunkers and gun positions, together with the largest number of surviving tech turrets in England, still exist within the boundaries of the former airfield and can be seen on the eastern edge of the country park. RAF Hornchurch artifacts and memorabilia are housed in the Perfleet Heritage and Military Center. RAF Hornchurch was the subject of one of the programs in the BBC TV series Two Men in a Trench. In the program, several of the defenses were examined. One of the Tet turrets was excavated, the backfill of which contained a pair of 1940 RAF pilots' goggles along with material from the hospital. 9. The Fire Trench a partially buried pillbox and a kneepen were excavated, while the gun emplacement on the northern end of the site was cleared of vegetation. The Good Intent Pub, formerly with a large concrete, planetarium-like dome next door, used for training airgars, still exists on the South End Road, was popular with the air crews, and has an interesting collection of photos of the station. A DVD about RAF Hornchurch was produced by Mike Jones for Streets Ahead Productions. The airfield is said to be Haunted 10, and was the subject of a paranormal investigation in 2004. 
Finally after a great many years of hard work by the dedicated members of Hornchurch Aerodrome Historical Trust there is to be an RAF Hornchurch Heritage Centre opening in Sutton's House on Sutton's Lane. This was on the grounds of the former Sutton's Institution, later St George's Hospital, which was commandeered by the Air Ministry for use by RAF personnel during the Second World War. William Lee Robinson Although Robinson was awarded the Victoria Cross for shooting down Scudland's SL-11 in 1916, it wasn't celebrated in all quarters, particularly by serving pilots in France. Home defence was viewed as a relatively easy role and Robinson had trouble earning the respect of his fellow pilots when he was subsequently posted to France. These views were compounded when Robinson was shot down by aircraft led by Manfred von Richthofen shortly after arriving in France. The awarding of the VC was, undoubtedly, partly politically motivated, although it must be remembered that any form of flying was inherently dangerous in 1916, particularly at night and at these tremendous heights without oxygen. Robinson also managed to single-handedly lift the spirit of a nation that had suffered the new terror of aerial bombardment from the apparently invincible airships. 11. Use of Incendiary Ammunition Although effective in destroying enemy airships, the use of incendiary ammunition was banned under the terms of the Hague Convention of 1899-12 and pilots using it had to have signed orders from their commanding officer. This type of ammunition was issued only to squadrons in home defense roles and never to squadrons serving overseas. On his return to Sutton's farm, William Leaf Robinson CO ordered him to keep quiet about at 13, as it was thought the propaganda value for the enemy would be invaluable should it leak out even though the Germans had already broken the terms of the convention by using gas in 1915. Later in the war the use of incendiary ammunition became officially recognized. 14. The Battle of Barking Creek Main Article, Battle of Barking Creek The first aircraft to be shot down by the British in the Second World War, the circumstances surrounding which later came to be known as friendly fire incidents were two Hawker Hurricanes of 56 Squadron. On September 6, 1939, three days after the declaration of war, a searchlight battery on Mercy Island incorrectly identified a friendly aircraft crossing the Essex coast. A message was relayed to HQ-11 Group, which ordered Hurricanes from North Weald to investigate. They were subsequently misidentified as hostile aircraft themselves by the chain home radar at Caindon. 15, further aircraft from North Weald were scrambled to intercept their comrades, but they too were misidentified through a combination of miscommunication, inexperience and over-enthusiasm. A tragic, but inevitable mistake was now just minutes away, Spitfires from 74 Squadron, led by Sailor Malin, took off from Hornchurch and quickly engaged two Hurricanes, shooting them both down. Pilot Officer Montague Halton Harrop was killed whilst the other pilot, Pilot Officer Tommy Rose, bailed out and landed safely. The two pilots responsible for the attack, Pilot Officer John Freeborn and Flying Officer Paddy Byrne were placed under arrest upon their return to Hornchurch. Freeborn had been the squadron adjutant and had distributed orders that single-engined aircraft should not be engaged as it was assumed that enemy fighters would not have the fuel to be able to fly a return sortie from Germany and, therefore, any single-engined aircraft would be friendly. A court-martial was held on October 7, 1939, at which, Freeborn later claimed, that Malin said he never gave the order to attack. All three were acquitted with the judge claiming that the case should never have been brought to trial. The proceedings have never been made public. 16-17-18 Station Commanders Name 19, rank as CO from to later career. RFC Sutton's Farm Air Commodore T.C. R. Higgins Major April 19, 2016 June 13, 2016 Akno 10 Group Major W.C.H. Mansfield Major June 13, 2016 July 26, 2016 Major A.H. Morton Major July 26, 2016 March 20, 2017 
Major R.G.H. Murray Major March 20, 2017 July 7, 2017 Major J.C. Hillahan Major July 7, 2017 September 8, 2017 Major W.H. Diaclan Major September 8, 2017 August 30, 2017 Air Marshal Sir P. Babington Major August 30, 2017 January 9, 2017 Aachen Chief Flying Training Command Major C. R. Roden Major January 9, 2017 April 26, 2018 Major G. Allen Major April 26, 2018 December 8, 2018 Major C. J. Turan Major December 8, 2018 December 31, 2019 RAF Hornchurch Air Chief Marshal Sir Keith Park SQNLDR January 4, 2028 March 16, 2029 Akno 11 GP, C and C, Air Command Southeast Asia 20 Group Captain F.O. Soden SQNLDR August 3, 2029 Station Commander Biggin Hill December 1940, June 1941 Air Marshal Sir Leonard Slatter SQNLDR October 25, 2029 January 4, 1930 at Coastal Command 20 Air Commodore E.R. Manning WG Commander April 4, 1930 at No. 223 Group Air Commodore C.H. Nicholas WG Commander July 22, 1933 returned June 10, 1939 as Group Captain Nicholas Squadron Leader W. V. Hyde W. G. Commander April 12, 1935 December 22, 1935 Air Vice Marshal A. S. G. Lee W. G. Commander December 22, 1935 Chief, British Military Air Mission to Marshal Tito Air Vice Marshal Sir Matthew Frew W. G. Commander February 4, 1937 July 27, 1938 Doc Training HQ SAF-20 Group Captain C.T. Walkington W.G. Commander July 27, 1938 Air Commodore C.H. Nicholas G.P. Captain June 10, 1939 Duty Air Commodore H.Q. A.D.G.B. Air Vice Marshal Sir Cecil Bouchier W.G. Commander December 20, 1939 December 21, 1940 AK British Commonwealth Air Forces of Occupation Japan 21 Air Chief Marshal Sir Harry Broadhurst W.G. Commander December 20, 1940 December 5, 1942 AK Bomber Command, Managing Director A.V. Rowan Co. 21 Air Vice Marshal C.G. Lot G.P. Captain May 14, 1942 Commandant School of Land, Air Warfare Air Commodore A.G. Adnams G.P. Captain May 1, 1943 AK, RAF Land, Air Warfare School Air Commodore H. L. Maxwell G.P. Captain July 20, 1943 October 28, 1943 Director of Air Policy Shape Air Vice Marshal F. D. S. Scott Malden W. G. Commander October 28, 1943 June 2, 1944 Assistant Chief of Air Staff, Policy Wing Commander R. Watts Jones SQNLDR June 2, 1944 April 20, 1944 Squadron Leader R. S. Davis SQNLDR April 20, 1944 January 12, 1944 Squadron Leader R. J. Claire Hunt SQNLDR January 12, 1944 July 14, 1946 Wing Commander G. W. Day W. G. Commander July 14, 1946 March 12, 1946 Wing Commander S. H. Page W. G. Commander March 12, 1946 July 28, 1947 Air Marshal D. McFadden A. Gur July 28, 1947 December 17, 1947 Ock in Chief Home Command Air Marshal Sir Emma Key A. Gur December 17, 1947 December 10, 1948 Dock in Chief Transport Command Group Captain F. C. Sturgis G.P. Captain December 10, 1948 February 4, 1951 Group Captain H. L. Parker G.P. Captain February 4, 1951 February 7, 1951 
Group Captain J. N. Jefferson GP Captain February 7, 1951 July 21, 1953 Air Vice Marshal E. Jack Orba E. A. July 21, 1953 January 18, 1954 ACNO 61 Group Southern Wing Commander A.J. Hicks W.G. Commander January 18, 1954 August 3, 1954 Group Captain W.G. Davis W.G. Commander August 3, 1954 April 12, 1954 Wing Commander C.A.R. Cruz W.G. Commander April 12, 1954 September 5, 1955 Wing Commander A.N. Jones W.G. Commander September 5, 1955 October 30, 1957 Wing Commander H.D.U. Denison W.G. Commander October 30, 1957 September 4, 1962 Squadrons During its relatively short life, RAF Hornchurch became home A, to many RAF squadrons Squadron Squadron Codes Equipment from to Commanding Officer Number 39 Squadron Royal Aircraft Factory BE2C Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg Royal Aircraft Factory B.T.2C April 15, 2016 0917 North Wheeled Major Thomas Higgins Number 78 Squadron Sopwith Camel Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg Sop with Camel 0917 December 31, 2019 Disbanded Major Cuthbert Roden Number 189 Squadron Sop with Camel Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg Sop with Camel 418 January 3, 2019 Disbanded Major H.S. Powell Number 111 Squadron Armstrong Whitworth Siskin IEE a miniature profile silhouette.jpg Armstrong Whitworth Siskin IEE a January 4, 2028 SQNLDR Keith Park Bristol Bulldog II a miniature profile silhouette.jpg Bristol Bulldog II a 131 December 7, 1934 North Alt Number 41 Squadron Eb Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKI May 28, 1940 August 6, 1940 Cat Eric SQNL DRHRL Robin Hood Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKI July 26, 1940 August 8, 1940 Cat Eric SQNL DRHRL Robin Hood Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKI March 9, 1940 October 24, 1940 NASQNLDRSHRL Robin Hood DFC, Robert Lister and Don Finlay Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKI October 24, 1940 February 23, 1941 Cat Eric SQNLDR Donald O. Finlay Number 54 Squadron DL, KL-22 Bristol Bulldog II a miniature profile silhouette.jpg Bristol Bulldog II a January 15, 1930 SQNLDRWEG Bryant Gloucester Gauntlet miniature profile silhouette.jpg Gloucester Gauntlet 0936 SQNLDR Cecil Bouchier Gloucester Gladiator miniature profile silhouette.jpg Gloucester Gladiator 0537 SQNL DRH M. Pearson Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKI March 3, 1939 March 9, 1940 Cat Eric SQNL James Lethart Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKI February 23, 1941 SQNL DRFPR Dunworth Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MK V0541 SQNL DRRF Boyd Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MK VB0741 November 17, 1941 Castletown SQNL DR in Orton Number 65, East India, Squadron Hawker Demon Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg Hawker Demon December 7, 1934 Gloucester Gauntlet Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg Gloucester Gauntlet 0936 FZ Gloucester Gladiator Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg 
Gloucester Gladiator 0437. FZ, E22, Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKI March 21, 1939 August 27, 1940 Turnhouse SQNL DRAL Holland. Number 74, Trinidad, Squadron. Hawker Demon Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg Hawker Demon September 21, 1936 SQNLDR Donald Brooks Gloucester Gauntlet Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg Gloucester Gauntlet 0437 SQNLDR Donald Brooks JH, ZP22, Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKI February 13, 1939 August 14, 1940 Wittering SQNLDR Donald Brooks Number 222, Natal, Squadron ZD Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKI August 30, 1940 November 11, 1940 Cultish All SQNL DR John Hamar Hill Supermarine Spitfire 9 Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg Supermarine Spitfire MK9 April 29, 1943 December 30, 1943 Woodvale SQNL DR EJF Harrington Supermarine Spitfire 9 Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg Supermarine Spitfire MK9 October 3, 1944 April 4, 1944 Celsius. Number 266, Rhodesia, Squadron O Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKI August 14, 1940 August 21, 1940 Wittering SQNL DRRL Wilkinson. Number 600, City of London. Squadron Rocks of BQ Bristol Blenheim Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg Bristol Blenheim August 22, 1940 September 15, 1940 Red Hill SQNL DR David Clark Bristol Bufighter I Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg Bristol Bufighter MK1 F23, January 9, 1940 Number 264, Madras Presidency Squadron PS Balton Paul Defiant Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg Balton Paul Defiant August 22, 1940 August 28, 1940 Duxford Number 603, City of Edinburgh, Squadron Rocks of XT Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MK August 27, 1940 SQNL Den Denholm, DFC Number 64 Squadron XQ SH-22, Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKII on November 11, 1940 May 16, 1941 Turnhouse Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKV by November 16, 1941 March 28, 1943 Turnhouse Number 313, Czechoslovak Squadron Rai Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKVB December 15, 1941 August 6, 1942 Church Stanton SQNL DR Carol Mrazek, DSO, DFC Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKVC December 15, 1941 August 6, 1942 Church Stanton SQNL DR Carol Mrazek, DSO, DFC Number 122, Bombay, Squadron WM, Mount 22, Thumb Supermarine Spitfire MKVC January 4, 1942 Supermarine Spitfire 9 Miniature Profile Silhouette.jpg Supermarine Spitfire MK9 March 10, 1942 May 18, 1943 East Church The following squadrons were also here at some point. Number 13 Squadron RAF Number 19 Squadron RAF Number 23 Squadron RAF Number 46 Squadron RAF Number 51 Squadron RAF Number 66 Squadron RAF Number 80 Squadron RAF Number 81 Squadron RAF Number 92 East India Squadron RAF Number 114 Hong Kong Squadron RAF Number 116 Squadron RAF Number 129, Mysore, Squadron RAF Number 132, City of Bombay, Squadron RAF Number 154, Motor Industries, Squadron RAF Number 167, 
Gold Coast, Squadron RAF. Number 229 Squadron RAF. Number 239 Squadron RAF. Number 274 Squadron RAF. Number 278 Squadron RAF. Number 287 Squadron RAF. Number 340, GC4-2 EE de France, Squadron RAF. Number 349, Belgian, Squadron RAF. Number 350, Belgian, Squadron RAF. Number 403 Squadron Marcaf. Number 411 Squadron Marcaf. Number 453 Squadron RAF. Number 485 Squadron Runs Off. Number 504, County of Nottingham, Squadron Roxaf. Number 567 Squadron RAF. Number 611, West Lancashire, Squadron Roxaf. Number 661 Squadron RAF. 765 Naval Air Squadron. Additional Units, 24. Number 1 Civilian Anti-Aircraft Cooperation Unit RAF. Number 11 Group Anti-Aircraft Cooperation Flight RAF. Number 17 Reserve Flying School RAF. Number 20 Fighter Wing RAF. Number 25 Base Defense Sector RAF. Number 25 Base Defense Wing RAF. Number 33 Personnel Dispatch Center RAF. Number 135 Airfield RAF. Number 142 Gliding School RAF. Number 146 Gliding School RAF. Number 160 Wing RAF. Number 412, Polish, Repair and Salvage Unit. Number 614 Gliding School RAF. Number 1959 Air Observation Post Flight RAF. Number 2718 Squadron RAF Regiment. Number 2726 Squadron RAF Regiment. Number 4012 Anti-Aircraft Flight RAF Regiment. Aircrew Selection Center. Aviation Candidates Selection Board. Combined Selection Center. Home Counties Gliding Center RAF. Officers Advanced Training School. This is a video that is from the archives at RAF Horn Church Heritage Center the footage of NOS. 41, 222, and 603 squadrons based at RAF Hornchurch in September 1940. The film includes shots, 424, of Supermarine Spitfire MK.ia FG flown by pilot officer Eric S. Locke, the RAF's most successful Allied pilot during the Battle of Britain with 21 confirmed victories. Locke's combat report filed on September 5, 1940. I was flying in formation with the rest of the squadron when we intercepted a formation of enemy aircraft. We attacked the bombers first, it then developed into a dogfight. I then engaged an enemy He-111 which I followed down until it crashed into the river. I climbed back to 8,000 feet and saw an enemy He-111 which had left the main formation. I engaged same and set his starboard engine on fire. I closed into about 75 yards and fired two long bursts and smoke came from the fuselage. The enemy aircraft then put his wheels down and started to glide. I stopped firing and followed him down. I was then attacked by a Mi-109 who fired at me from below and wounded me in the leg. As he banked away he stall turned. I fired at him and he exploded in midair. I then followed the bomber down until it ditched on the sea about 10 miles from the first one in the mouth of the river.